Right, this is what it's all about, limestone rock. This area here, believe it or not, was at the equator a few million years ago and it's all drifted slowly north and where we're standing was at the bottom of a shallow warm sea which is hard to imagine but you can perhaps see the fossils in these samples I've carefully selected and this one's full of little fossils there we go so the rock by itself has got limited use it can be used to build walls and houses and so on or, or, or the uh, the gravel it's not really gravel for, for pass but when it's heated or roasted or burned as they say it takes on a new dimension and that's what all the lime kilns are about roasting this limestone rock to make what's known as quick lime now this is some quick lime which we've obtained from a quarry in Derbyshire and it's giving an indication of it's not very nice stuff I'm going to put my gloves on to protect my skin but this nice innocent looking white stuff is made by heating limestone rock and this is known as quick lime I'll explain that a little later and I'm going to put the lid on here to keep the water from it and we're very grateful for tarmac of Buxton for giving this quick lime free of charge so that is quick lime that's roasted or heated or burned limestone rather a different beast from the rock I've got some ordinary water down here and when we add water to quick lime something rather interesting happens and rather dangerous so I'm going to protect my face so that's quick lime this is water this is water on the quick lime here we go Spitting nicely and hissing at you. Can you see it getting bigger? It's growing as though it were alive. And quick is an old word that means alive. And it's generating quite a bit of heat, as you can see by the plastic collapsing. And it's grown from what was at the bottom of the dish to quite an amorphous mass now. Now, if you put this quick lime in your barge to take it down the canal, it doesn't take much imagination to what might happen if you've got a barge load of this quick lime and it got wet. So nearly all the lime that came from here to the canal was just the rock. And it was heated in kilns along the length of the canal, of which there are about a hundred altogether. So this is the was the quick lime, and it's grown as though it were quick, as though it were alive. And obviously heat generated, you see perhaps steam coming off there and it's melted the plastic. This is now called hydrated lime. And this is what was used and still is used to put on the fields to sweeten the soil. Some people say fertilize the soil, but it was to neutralize the acidity and also stop the, 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 the soil becoming clay and lumpy. So it's a conditioner as well. This calcium hydroxide is used if you add water to it, it makes whitewash or lime wash. If you mix sands with it, it makes mortar. So the main use for the limestone that came from this quarry or these quarries was for making slate lime, which was put on the fields or used in the building industry. Now the quick lime, you see what it did with the water there, it reacts like that when it gets in your eyes or in your lungs and it generates a lot of heat and it's very caustic because it dissolves flesh. So when the poor old workers were in the kiln there with the dust, it wasn't just dusty dust, it was actually very corrosive dust and it's no wonder there were young widows in the village because this stuff was a killer and it didn't matter how much beer you drank, it didn't wash your lungs out. 
So here's the hydrated lime, this is what it's all about. And if you want to set up business now, we'd mix some sand with it and make mortar and build a house. And the stable blocked limestone with sand added to make lime mortar. We call it cement, but it's not really. It's lime more than 100 odd years ago. So that's limestone to quick lime to hydrated lime or calcium hydroxide.